Most of you that watch this channel are probably very much leaning right. And uh, you'd expect that the left would not be really pro second amendment at all because of the dialogue you see politically. But what we've seen is the left is definitely preparing for what they refer to as domestic violence or political violence more specifically. Well, Homeland Security just recently came out a report and talked about that the biggest threat for domestic terrorism is extreme right wing groups. So the left has been preparing and has been preparing. Well, how do you prepare? Well, you buy guns and that's what they're doing. They're literally arming themselves. Yes, left-wing gun ownership is going hand in hand because they believe that they're feeling really a sense of hopelessness is what the report is. There's many groups, one of which, one of the bigger ones, is referred to as the Socialist Rifle Association. And their goal is to arm uh, the minorities and many people in those left-wing communities, the LGBT community, that sort of thing, to train them and arm them. And when they gave a speech in Washington, D.C. recently, ultimately what they said is that there is an arms race going on in this country, whether you like it or not, and the right is winning by far. Um, and that's an accurate statement. That is a very accurate statement. And ultimately what these groups are doing is they're giving a safe space for all groups um, is kind of their slogan. Now, generally speaking, the Socialist Rifle Association out of Maryland, they have over 7,000 people in their group. And there's a lot of these other groups. That's just one example, one small example. Ultimately, what they're saying is that most of the left began buying guns following January 6th, that there was this fear of militia that became very real to them all of a sudden. And they believe that this militia is not only against what was taking place there, but it's against them as well. So they, it's based on this fear. Most of them would have never even dreamed of owning guns before January 6th. Now they are owning guns. Most of this because of a fear of political violence. So how is the left preparing themselves for violent extremism or political extremism? Well, they're arming themselves. And their, their view is that there, again, is an arms race going on in this country, whether you like it or not, and that the right is winning by far, by far, by far. Uh, most what you consider right-leaning people own guns, and some of them own lots of guns. Most left-leaning people or left-wing people don't. Uh, but that is changing. That has definitely been changing over the last 12 months. Um, you know, there it is, things like the Socialist Rifle Association, essentially creating what they refer to as safe spaces to learn how to defend yourself with a firearm. Um, so there you go. Any thoughts or insight on any of that, definitely put that below. I mean, honestly, I think this is good news. I think people should be arming themselves, regardless of where you are politically. Of course, you should be arming yourselves. Um, that's what evens the score if you're attacked violently. And I think that left-leaning people absolutely need to defend themselves just like right-leaning people or middle people, whoever you are, non-political people, whatever your case may be, you have the right to defend yourself. And you should learn how to defend yourself by getting some good training with the firearm. I don't care where you are politically. Any thoughts or insight on that, definitely put it below. If you like this video, click like and subscribe. Feel called to support this channel with Patreon. That link is also below. But the most important part of this channel is we take prayer requests. So please don't ever hesitate to send that in. Thank you for watching this episode of God, Family, and Guns. And as always, love God, love your family, love guns. Love guns.